Hi, I'm Dr. Cheryl Fraser, and welcome back to our video Love Bite series on the top five problems couples have. This little friend of mine does not have the problem I'm about to tackle, which is commitment. She's in for life. She loves me no matter what, don't you, Arwen? No matter what I do, I'm perfect. No matter what I do, you'll never leave. Even when I'm grumpy, even when I smell bad, she's never going to trade me in for another. I want to talk to you about commitment. Are you fully in your relationship at this time? Be scrupulously honest with yourself right now. Is there a little bit of you that's in doubt, a little bit of you that pokes and questions and wonders what the other side of the fence would look like? Is there a part of you that thinks uh, much more deeply sometimes of leaving or ending the relationship? She would never leave me. She doesn't even leave me when I go to the toilet. She either follows me in and watches, which is slightly weird, or she sits outside the door until I come out. That's loyalty. Commitment means I love you no matter what. As I said in an earlier video, I love you through the good and the bad times, for better or worse, sickness and in health, richer or poorer. I love you because I made a choice to love you, and I need to maybe renew that commitment day after day after day. So the problem is fuzzy commitment ambivalent commitment and I would put forward in this day of Facebook dating apps uh, apps you can have affairs on looking for something better the dreaded as my uh, young relatives would tell me FOMO fear of missing out somebody's got it better than me someone's relationship looks better he romances her he buys her better gifts she wants to make love more often they do more fun things they both go to their children's activities why can't we be like that that starts to make your commitment shaky. Arwen never says, why can't Cheryl take me for more hikes? At least I don't think she does. She never says, why doesn't Cheryl buy a yummier type of dog food? Or better yet, let me eat the cat food when I want to. No, you can't, you're a little chubby. She does not question her commitment to me. When you question your commitment to your spouse, you create a wedge, you create a gap, you create a place for all the doubts, all the worries, all the fears, and all the negativities to bloom. Remember in the earlier video, we talked about the seven out of 10 list. If you start focusing on the ways your partner is not your soulmate, the three things they don't have, you will be in doubt and you will question your commitment. Here's what I want you to do. Here's the tool to help you with this common couple's complaint of, I, I love my spouse, but you know, sometimes I wonder, would I be happier with someone else? I want you for the next month, if you're willing to do it, it'll only take five minutes a day, I want you to commit to your spouse every day for a day, one day at a time. It might sound something like this. Sweetheart, today, the 31st of whatever month, I choose you. I commit to you fully and completely everything I am. I will love you the best I can. I will forgive myself when I make mistakes and I will see your best moments and minimize your flaws. I, for this full day, Cheryl Fraser, love you as fully and completely as I can. Even if you don't let me eat the cat food. That's commitment. Commit one day at a time. Commit no matter what. Choose to be in 100% because that's the only time you will create the kind of relationship I know is possible for you. When you 100% commit to your imperfect partner and your maybe frankly messed up and fairly unhappy at times relationship, when you commit to it, you can make the effort, do the work it takes to create something spectacular. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to hold your hand. I'm here to help you on this path to passion. That's what my work and my upcoming course for couples is all about. And next week, we're going to tackle problem number four of five. You want to have sex way more often than they do. Coming your way in the next video, Love Bite. Don't listen. It's PG. Bye for now.